Oh, hello, everybody. My name is Benjamin Soren. This is uh, this is my uh, my screen right now. I have Frap set to capture uh, capture my screen. So I got C Audacity here going, recording my my voice from my uh, blue snowball. And I got back here on Google Chrome a Russian Badger video, which I've already liked because that is uh, what you do when you watch a Russian Badger video. And you can see you got Yahoo, Chrome. Here's a uh, Adobe Premiere Elements. This is what I use to make my videos. I guess I can go go over that a little bit later, maybe in a different video. But this was uh, which one is this one? This was the uh, Sniper School Day Four, actually, right here. So you can see all the different cuts and edits and soundtracks and stuff that go into one of mine. Not exactly easy. Uh, I fraps turn fraps off or turn it, minimize it anyway. Skype, which I hardly ever use. Uh, here are all the videos that I have uploaded. Uh, all the different clips and projects and and stuff that I have. Uh, but most of these will get deleted soon because I need to make room for more uh, more capturing stuff. And there's Audacity again. I wanted to talk about this. Now this is the, battle, the Realmware Battlefield 3 settings editor. Now this is a cool little program because it lets you edit your Battlefield 3 settings without actually being in Battlefield 3. And you can see you can you can set up profiles so you can have multiple, you know, profiles and multiple settings set up. You have many options of gameplay here. You can change all of your your physics, your animation quality, network smoothing. You can see aim assist. Oh, for single player and co-op. All right. Uh subtitles, you can change all that. War tapes, you know, Car radio. Oh, it doesn't work. That's right. I forgot they didn't quite put those on yet. <laughs> uh, but you can see these. Some of these you can change. Uh, that are actually options in uh, the in-game menu, and some are not options in the in-game menu. Like this one in particular is your graphics. You full screen, brightness, V-Sync, 3D stereo, colorblind. You have graphics quality. That's my settings, by the way, for graphics quality, in case you're curious. Uh, unfortunately, Fraps kind of kills that. doesn't quite capture it at a perfect quality level. Which I'm probably going to get the uh, DX Tori soon, once I find a good setting set up for that. But this is what I wanted to mention mostly, specifically, is this right here. Uh, field of Vision Controls. Motion Blur. I gotta turn that up. I didn't. I thought I had that on. Oh well. Uh, this is what I wanted to talk about mostly. Now the default field division on the maximum default field division on the PC, I believe, is 90, or vertical field division is 90. As you see, I had it set up to 105. I believe it was at 105 or 110. It was a 110. It was a 110. That's right. 110. And that's what I used was running Bad Company 2 on, and it gives you a bigger fisheye effect. And the nice thing about this is if you actually go into the, uh, if you remember Bad Company 2, you went into the settings file to change your field of vision. You can only change the, the vertical field of vision, but this one you could actually change it by horizontal field of view also. So say if you want a 120 degree field of view, you can just set this to 120, 120, oops, not 170, 120, 120, damn it, what's it doing? 120. Oh, okay, maybe not. So that's the max you can set it to, 175. <laughs> but if you go 120, uh, damn it, it's not. Let me do 120. All right, delete that. One, two, zero. There it is. So you can set it to 120 horizontal field of view, which gives you an 89 degree vertical field of view, or you can set it like I had to 110 vertical. It'll give you a 30, 137 horizontal. Just an interesting little thing to play around with. I kind of like it. Uh, controls, you can see you can change your controls here as well. Obviously you can change your joystick sensitivity, which is really nice. If you're a per person that flies with vehicles, you can change your vehicle sensitivity, joystick sensitivity, and you can also change your joystick dead zone. So joystick, people that want to fly with joysticks, you know, here's a, a good option for you to get this program and change it. I fly with mouse and keyboard, although I do have a joystick. I, I'm just used to mouse and keyboard by now, so I don't really do that. You can change your, you set up key bindings. Even change your MAV controls. So, 
you guys that uh, have problems with MAV controls maybe, you could change them in here. Uh, the gunners, you can see you can change them all. Pretty much all of these are changeable in the in-game menu except for uh, actually I don't even, some of these may not be. I don't think the gunner and the MAV are editable in there. You also clear different ones like if you want to clear all your key, all your mouse bindings and just those you can clear those or clear all of them. Console commands you can see change the screenshot resolution you can display an FPS counter in your in-game uh, screen information you know all this stuff you can display on your in-game screen if you want to for whatever reason change your max FPS and here's some interesting things these are fixes now comma rows this is a cool one uh, it basically takes your comma rows off your Q button so if you can you can remap it so that if you map uh, you can see right here uh, fix per yeah, this fix properly modifies the settings file so that only your selected keywords, the hard coding binding for spot comoros on Q will be removed. Uh, yeah, basically what it is, they locked your spot and comoros to Q, so if you want to use that button for anything else, you can't. But this fix allows you to remap your spot button. And you can see also have some... Uh, free look fixes for the jets see if I can uh, yeah you can see it basically just fixes jet this is one that I'm not sure how to fix I haven't figured out how to do this yet uh, oh I see what it does it says if you rebind your brake jet your jet brake key it does almost nothing uh, but this one, you can see what it does. You can be dead. You can also change your invert and your MAV controls here. This is a really cool little program. And like I said, if you guys want to Google Battlefield 3 Settings Editor Realmware, you can find the download link. And I'll put the, uh, the web link to the website in the description. It is a free download, so it's really cool that way. And like I said, you can... Uh, you can access it without actually loading up the game options and it does give you a lot of different options for turn it down to like 80 percent now what the hell leave it at full 100 percent but it does give you a lot of different options that you can't access through the in-game menu but are available in the settings file so it's kind of an interface to, to the settings files directly rather than going through the in-game uh, menu but if you're on a PC this is a cool little program to have even if you don't really change anything too too much it is cool because it gives you like so you can, you can do a whole lot. It's a lot easier interface than using the in-game menu as well. So until next time, guys. Happy fragging.